Hello friends, this is Rohit this side and uh, today I will be demonstrating you a micro ohm meter and this time I am having a Motwani make micro meter. Let's see, its uh, model number is uh, LR2045 and the specification it's a four and a half digit uh, micro ohm meter and the least count is uh, one micro ohm and the range goes up to uh, 2000 ohms so I will be demonstrating all the parts to you uh, that what is the how you can use this instrument in the standard essence box by uh, for the transformer purpose and all the other things so uh, let's go we starting with and uh, this is micro ohm meter Motwani make and I'm turning on this instrument it's a four and a half digit instrument and I will be showing you how uh, this instrument uh, does and me using this uh, standard resistance box uh, and showing you the different values and the standard resistance box is of Sigma make and uh, Motwani don't make these type of things it's just, uh, by this you can also check that your micrometer is working all right or not and uh, I recommend uh, all of the people who are buying uh, this micro meter Motwani may should go ahead and buy this uh, standard resistance box also that by uh, testing firstly uh, that the instrument is working or not uh, then you can use this instrument in the production part okay uh, these are the lead set again I have made my own lead set uh, both the ends will be the same uh, and uh, let's uh, start into it okay that's uh, plus i and this this is minus i and this is minus v and uh, i'll be connecting it to the topmost range of uh, this uh, sender resistance box and uh, it is this topmost range is one kilo ohm uh, so let's see I hope all the things are clear to you and uh, okay that's it uh, firstly we have to turn on the instrument and uh, then you can see there are uh, when we switch on the instrument we connect it over there uh, you, the results are not out okay you have to uh, press this operated or standby button they have provided into it then when we uh, push this button and this light come on to be operated then the result starts so I have put uh, thousand ohm result and it is showing one double zero three point one four and a half digit results are good the accuracy is point zero five percent in this model okay I'm now uh, putting it to hundred ohm this is hundred ohm it is showing ninety nine point nine ohm and when I have to go to this uh, 200 ohm okay that's fine instrument is working fine instrument is uh, working in all the ranges yes it is showing uh, 10 ohm and will be going into the lower range and you should be uh, doing one thing but, but uh, why when you be uh, testing the lower range you have to use four wire system the four wire system is already and must be used for measuring the lower resistance uh, otherwise the contact resistance starts and the results will go out I will be showing you all the things in uh, in this part only okay and this is thousand milli ohm the results are fine and now it's 100 milli ohm let's see the results results are going good yes it is showing 100.48 the four and a half digit results are okay and doing good now it's uh, 10 milli ohm okay 10 milli ohm is also good the results are fine and within the accuracy of the standard resistance box as well as the instrument okay this is the first strain and this is the first strain also 
and the results are fine the error persists but i suppose i haven't done the zero adjustment part uh, i will be showing you how to set zero in this instrument also and uh, it will be useful uh, for most of the people who don't know how to set zero in a micro ohm meter lots of people goes comes to me and have this complaint that how should we get zeros cause uh, in the inspection part uh, the inspector or the audit part the inspector always asks that uh, firstly show us the zero in micro ohm meter uh, then we will be going ahead with the readings of the of your sample now i'll be demonstrating you to how to find the resistance of a transformer yes this is a, a small transformer with me and i will be showing you how to measure transformer of this uh, how to measure the resistance of this transformer and this is the ends and i have already peeled it and soldered it for you i have an, another lead set uh, a four wire lead set uh, motwani always uh, give a lead set which uh, the end part is always shortened up and uh, one crocodile comes up uh, i request motwani people to not to provide those type of uh, lead set always provide four wire system of four lead sets with your instrument because for measuring the lower resistance uh, uh, you know it, it, the contact resistance starts up and uh, uh, the results are out in the lower part but for the higher part uh, you won't get any any of the error so uh, let's start with it i'm having one end over here we have to put uh, one red over here and another red just uh, some distance and uh, onto the another end we have black and let's see okay i have connected the leads onto it and let's uh, start with the instrument so okay uh, the results are lower i guess okay it's it it's showing 2.247 ohm see the light is over also over here if it uh, the results will be in milli ohm then this light will be on now this light is going on means it is ohm so it's 2.247 ohm the results of this transformer is 2.27247 ohms you're getting four and a half digit uh, accuracy into it if you will be having a three and a half digit instrument then uh, the result will show will be 2.24 only not seven i will be showing uh, how to measure a small resistance by using this motwani make instrument okay uh, i don't have any wire or something uh, i'm having this uh, piece uh, with me a metal piece and I'll be connecting like this and uh, let's see what are the result of uh, this metal piece always see that you don't have to short both the points you have to keep the points like this there will be some distance uh, between the two points and the results will be fine then okay let's start with the instrument okay slower Slow. let's see see now the million light is on so you can see that uh, what are the result it is showing 3.1 million but let's see on the lower part okay it's 3.42 okay it's 3.827 million result of this metal piece is 3.8 okay uh, let me show you what i will uh, what i was telling you previously that what will happen when i shot these both points see uh, when i shot these points the results of uh, this is see the results were a 3.8 million now it's gone up to 7.8 7.5 million so i always uh, request you all guys to uh, do a proper connection a firm connection should be made uh, to measure the resistance of your sample I guess uh, all these doubts are clear 
that what will happen when we shot both the points and what is the role of the uh, of four lead sets previously i was telling uh, you guys that how to set zero yes i will be showing you how to set zero in this montwani make micrometer see uh, Firstly, we have to uh, short this V plus point to the V minus point, like that, and then I plus point to the I minus point, like that, and then you will be getting zero in each and every range. But for the first range, Montwani have provided the zero adjustment pot by the help of a small screwdriver. You can set or you can adjust that zero error if there is something in this instrument let's see <clears throat> p is zero 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 there is some error okay there is some error we'll be sorting it out now with the help of a small screwdriver see the error is now sorted out and it is slowly slowly it will be come out to be zero mm. yes it is now so in all ranges now you can see the zero is there and by this you can see and you can set zero in Motwani make micrometer so that's it for today uh, hope you like my video if you like it do subscribe it, my channel and for some more instruments I will be uh, doing it for you demonstration part thank you